that I'm going to hiding somewhere by a gated star. Baby, they ain't never gonna find me. I'm a renegade. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a spring porch makeover. I am so excited to finally be getting this done. I have wanted to paint this patio concrete for months and months. It just never ended up working out, the timing, and I finally got around to doing it. So I'm gonna share all that with you guys today and I really hope you enjoy. Also, I wanted to mention that the paint alone made a world of a difference. You can see here I had a whole lot of spots that had just random paint splatters and the concrete was just really in rough shape to be honest and it just needed a really good coat of paint. So if you cannot afford to do anything else, get you some paint. It makes a huge difference in your home and this goes for anything, your walls, I mean cabinets, whatever it is. Don't be scared to paint something because it does make a huge difference. But anyway, I'm going to start off by removing all of the old patio furniture. It's not old though. <laughs> um, I actually purchased all that. I think it was, did I do a summer? I think it was, it was either a spring refresh or a summer porch makeover that I did um, last year and I'll link that below but we love that patio set actually it's very durable has held up great here in Florida with all the rain and the storms so definitely recommend if you're looking for a very affordable small space patio set that one's pretty good um, I will try to find the exact link it might not be available the same one but I will link the other video below as well but here's a quick overview of how the patio looks without anything there pretty dirty so I'm gonna blow it all off and then I'm gonna start priming to paint to come out so bad. Hey y'all, so I took a quick break. Um, I am sweaty. 
it's getting warm outside but i just applied a first coat of the primer it's called valspar um concrete primer it's more of like the consistency of a polycrylic at least that's how this can is working for me i feel like on the actual can it looks like it's paint it looks like it would appear as paint but that is not how it's applying for me at least i start it really good so i don't know what's going on but yeah, hopefully it works. If not, oh well. Either way, I'm going to still paint the patio and hope for the best, so we'll see what happens. Um, by the way, the color that I'm using is called Foot Hills by Sherwin-Williams. It's like a really, it's kind of like a dark brown, but with a gray in it as well. Um, I hope that it looks good on the patio. I've seen it used on houses, like exteriors of houses, so we're gonna hope for the best but I really wanted like a darker color but not too dark I also didn't want to go with like a light beige I kind of wanted like an in-between color so I really hope that it turns out okay um but yeah I'm going to let the primer dry and then we're gonna get painting tonight I'll probably have to finish it up tomorrow though um, I don't think we're gonna have enough daylight to finish up all the painting so we'll see but I'll keep you updated as we go Okay, so like I told you guys, I chose the color Foothills by Sherwin-Williams, but of course, like, the color never looked the same as it did on these other homes that I looked at. Whenever it was fully dry, it just does not look the same. So always keep in mind that paint is going to look different from home to home, and, you know, it just depending on where you paint or like what you're painting and what colors you have in your house in general, like as far as decor goes, plays a part in the final result. So always keep that in mind. Bring home samples if you can. Even if it's like a $2 sample, I think it's well worth it than buying a $35 can and slapping it on the wall and not liking the way it looks. Um, by the way, the paint that I'm using, the concrete paint, was $35 a can, which really isn't too bad for a gallon size. And we used two gallons to paint this entire patio. Um, and we could have used a little more. Like I'm, I would have preferred to do one more coat. Um, so we may get two more cans and do a second coat a little bit later on, but it plans on raining this weekend, so I didn't want to like overdo it. I just wanted to get what we could get done and see how it holds up when it rains and stuff like that. So I'll keep you updated when that time comes. Um, today is Monday that I'm filming the voiceovers, and we did this project last week. So, so far so good. Um, the dogs and kids and have been riding their scooters and... Well, the kids have been riding their scooters, not the dogs, but the dogs that like, come running and stuff, and the patio is holding up really, really well with this paint. Huge shout out to my husband for painting most of it. I, like, literally could not. <laughs> you have to put, like, a ton of pressure down on the roller, and I was wore slap out. Like, my arms, I need to work out, like, for sure. So, huge thank you to my husband for helping me paint the patio. Hey, y'all. So, it is the next day. The patio is now dry, and why did I say that like that? Dry. <laughs> um, it's dry, and I'm about to go open up the patio set and try to put that together. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I I actually need to go and get a few plants as well. A lot of my like patio plants kind of have died, so I may do that later. But I want to try to put together the patio set at least because I honestly am so excited to put this together. So. I'll go outside, show you guys, you know, unboxing that and trying to carry it through. I'm just going to carry it through the house because they, they put it up front and try to put it together real quick. All right, so I just wanted to take a moment and thank Yida Home for sending us this patio set. I am so thankful to have this and to be able to review it for you guys. It is an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous patio set. Um, I will share my final thoughts and review at the very end and I'm definitely super honest about everything so stay tuned. Make sure you watch the whole video before you run off and buy it. I want to make sure that you know um, the pros and cons to it because I think that's very important with any company as well um, for them to hear good feedback. So first off I did want to let you know that they did offer a code um, so like a discount code. They gave me 11% off on this particular sofa. If you're interested, I will have the links below. And that is valid until March 31st, 2022 with the code CARRY11. 
And then they also gave me another link for a four piece sofa set. It came with like a couch, two little chairs and a table. And they gave me 20% off on that one. And that is valid until March 14th, 2022. So make sure you check out those links if you are interested in a new patio set. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put it together and then share with you my thoughts. I will show you. Okay, sounds good. And then you'll take a picture. Okay. All right, so so far I got everything kind of separated so it's easier to put together. And I did find one, just one out of everything is messed up. It does have a crack right here. This will be on the bottom and I don't think you're gonna be able to tell, um, but you can see right there it does have a crack, which is kind of unfortunate. It just seems like a really great quality, beautiful set so far. Um, but man, there's a lot of pieces. All right, we'll just stay away from the spider. So, I got my instructions. And I'm going to do the best I can to put this together. So, we shall see how it goes. They're all lab labeled pretty good with, like, little, um, this is, like, A3. You can see here, so that's what I'm starting with. There's four of those. Um, see, step one. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, so putting together the furniture really was not bad at all. It was very time consuming. I did as much as I could on my own and then I kind of just took a break, waited for my husband to get home for the pieces that I felt like I needed like an extra set of hands to help me out. Um, but it was very easy to follow the instructions and we didn't mess up at all. And usually we mess up a few times when we're putting furniture together. One of the first things I noticed whenever I opened up the packaging was the amount of screws and washers and they were all the same size and it came with an Allen wrench. So I was like, okay, so it's all the same size, just an Allen wrench to put everything together. And this is the part that was kind of time consuming. So just kind of twisting everything tight, but you don't need any special tools to put this section all together. And I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and the one thing I did want to say is that there were a few pieces that were kind of bent and the screw holes were not lining up properly. So that's something to keep in mind. I did have to have Dylan like really squeeze them tight and then I would like put the screw in and screw it. So that's the part where you're definitely going to need, you know, someone to help you. And I think that that issue is due to the packaging. So this is something that maybe they could work on, you know, fixing the packaging a little bit better. That way it doesn't get so damaged in transit. But overall, I think it's a beautiful set for the price. And right here, Dylan is just taking these little pieces that connect the section all together so that way they don't slide apart. And then we're gonna put all the cushions on, get everything set up so that way you can see the final reveal. Oh, I forgot to mention, the cushions are like waterproof and stain proof, at least so far, because Zoe has ran with her dirty little feet and jumped all over the couch and it literally wipes clean with a baby wipe. I was shocked because I was like, oh, this is going to get so ruined so fast, but it is actually wiping clean really easily. Um, the one thing is that there's so many little cushions and they don't attach to the back, but I do think it just kind of adds to that really like laid back cozy feel, almost like you're in like a retreat. So I don't mind it because you can kind of like steal a couple cushions and pile them up on your lap or, you know, kind of lay down on the couch. So either way, I think it it's works out great for us, but if you live in like a really windy area, I would keep that in mind. You don't want your little couch cushions to be in the neighbor's yard. All right, so I did decide to go ahead and get a new rug for this space. We wanted one that was a lot bigger, especially since this sectional um, is a lot bigger than the other patio set. The one we had just wasn't big enough. So we went and got this one. It's a 7 by 10 and it is from Walmart, and it was $100. But it is so, so pretty, and I feel like it really just brings everything together nicely.
right, so as you can see, I decided to use this new flower that I got on the little table instead because the red flowers are just gorgeous with the red pillows that this patio set came with. Um, and then here, I'm taking these little solar lights that I got from Ross. They were so inexpensive, and I decided to kind of wrap them around the poles and kind of like take it around the canopy cover and then to the shed and later on when it gets dark out I'll show you how those turned out they look so pretty at night they're not bright so they're definitely don't put off enough light to like brighten anything up but it just feels very like romantic and relaxing and we are so happy with it but here's a quick before and after Alright y'all, the patio is done for now. I love it. Love it so much. It made such a huge difference just painting the patio, adding the new patio furniture and rug. Um, everything else, you know, I didn't really change so far. I do plan on doing like a little bit of landscaping and stuff. We gotta get new mulch. Um, usually have to buy that every year and just kind of remulch everything, but I cannot wait to spend some summer days out here and just the springtime. It just always looks so beautiful. So I'm super happy that I finally got this done. I have been wanting to get a sectional like this for so long. And when this company reached out, I was like, heck yes, I'll try it out and I'll review it. <laughs> so that was super cool. So big shout out to them for sending this to me to test out for you guys. I think it's a beautiful set. Dylan and I love it. The kids love it. Zoe loves it. She's been laying it up here every day. Um, and so far, the quality feels amazing. I mean, granted, I've only had it for a few days. So definitely keep that in mind. I'm, you know, going to have to use it a little bit longer and I'll keep you guys updated for sure. But yeah, um, so far so good. The one thing that I wish was that there was a way to attach these cushions to the back um i can get some like double-sided velcro tape i'm just worried that it's going to ruin the cushions but it'll be fine i'll have to like put all these inside whenever the storms come and when zoe's out here she like knocks them all down but it, it's still so pretty and i'm so happy with it all right, so I'm just going to show you a few photos really quick, and then I'll show you how it looks at night with all the lights on. But I just wanted to thank you guys for being here today and watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. I am so happy with the way it's coming together, and I definitely have some landscaping and things to do to kind of just spice it all up and make it even more pretty, and I'm really excited to do that this spring. Um, but yeah, thanks again for being here, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!